Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm in Alta Bibi and today I'm going to show you how to 3D track an object in After Effects. This is a part 2 tutorial continuing Iran's work on part 1. So I'm not going to repeat what he said and what he showed, I'm going to show you some new things about this technique. And when I call it object 3D tracking, it's for objects too. Wait until the end of the tutorial to see this example. So, let's start with the source file. I'm gonna take it right over here. And of course, if we want it to be better tracked and accurate, some tracking markers would help, but we're gonna do it without. So, first of all, I want to track this board so I can later change it to 3D movement in space. So I'm gonna put the mocha effect on top of the, of the layer, and I'm gonna go to the mocha, so first of all, I want to go to the beginning of the footage. I'm going to take the rectangle, mark it, and place the four points right outside the rectangle, the board. So I'm going to turn on the perspective and start tracking. And this tracking will not be as exact without the tracking markers, but this will do for this tutorial. And after all, we can always fix it in After Effects. Or as they say it, you can always fix it in post. And before I'm closing this window, I'm gonna press the surface button, select the layer and place the edges of the surface around the edges of this whiteboard. And we can see the track is okay. It's not as exact. And there is a little sliding in the end, but this would do. I'm gonna close it and save. So now I'm gonna open a new solid and I'm gonna call it tracker. Tracker, let's be exact. And I'm gonna go to the mocha effect. I'm gonna press the create track data. Press okay after the layer is selected. And I'm gonna keep it as corner pin and I'm gonna go to this layer, the tracker layer, I'm gonna apply the export. So now we can see that the solid, actually we cannot see it, but the solid moves exactly like the movement of Iran moving in the video. So how do we turn this into a 3D movement? So to do that, we need to trick After Effects to think there is a 3D environment here we need to track. So to do that, I'm gonna place a fractal noise effect on the tracker, I'm gonna place it above the corner pin so it will get all the movement of the corner pin. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna pre comp it and I'm gonna call it mat plus 3D movement. I'm gonna make sure everything I did on this layer moves inside the composition and I'm gonna press OK. So now we have a layer that moves exactly like a run. And let's ask After Effects to track it. So I'm gonna right click, go to the track and stabilize and select the track camera. And now what will happen is that After Effects will try to understand the movement of this layer and will convert it to a 3D movement. It's like, it's not the whiteboard that's moving, but it's the environment moving. So After Effects will try to find a matching camera to get this movement. Okay, so now I'm gonna select all of the track points, all of them. I'm gonna right click and create a solid and a camera. And this will create a solid with a moving camera. So the solid is static. So if we're gonna look in 3D space, the camera is orbiting around the solid to recreate the movement. So all I need to do now is to turn on the layer below and I'm gonna replace the solid layer with a wolf clean layer. So this is uh, the footage that we used when we explained about the really, really nice script we have that I'm gonna show in a minute that create parallax in a click of a button. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna select the solid, I'm gonna alt drag on the solid, the wolf clean layer. So what I'm gonna have is this layer. 
So it's not exactly 3D. I mean, it is 3D, but it is flat. So what I need to do is to go to the Wolf Clean and I'm gonna open a really, really nice script that Aran and I wrote, which is called One Click Parallax. You can see the link below to get it. It is free, it will always be free, enjoy it. And I'm gonna open it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it as is and I'm just gonna press this button and it doesn't look like something happened so I'm gonna close it so I can, I'm gonna show you but there is a camera here and now all the layers are 3D which means that it created with a single click the movement and the scaling of the objects so it will be 3D. So let's go out and see how it looks. It looks the same but that's only because I didn't collapse the transformation on this layer. So I'm gonna press this collapse transformation button and bam, I have this. So this is pretty nice. And now I need, all I need to do is to scale it down and maybe take it up a bit like this. And I'm gonna scale it now just on the Z axis so I can see all the layers. And now I have this, but I really can't work like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this layer as a mat. And now I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take it a bit down and maybe scale everything together, maybe a bit up. Let's go right over here. And I'm beginning to get the motion that I wanted. So this is the effect. You can take it to new levels and new heights. I'm not gonna explain further than this. I just want to know you the cool, juicy stuff. So this is pretty cool at itself, but let's talk about 3D objects because it's not only for graphics. So you can import an object to After Effects. I like to use the Element plugin, uh, which if you don't have, it's okay. You can use other things. Everything is great if you know how to use it. So I'm gonna turn off this layer and I'm gonna open a new solid and I'm gonna create an element layer. So I'm gonna go to the scene setup and I'm gonna go to the starter pack, which everyone should have if you bought it. And I'm gonna take this stone. I'm gonna press okay and I have this stone, which is nice and it's actually moving pretty nice, but to move it exactly to where this whiteboard is located, I'm gonna go to the group settings and I'm gonna create a group knob that will help me control better this stone. So now I'm gonna parent it to the wolf movement. So I'm gonna take the pick whip and drag it to the wolf clean layer, but I'm gonna press shift so it will jump to the same location. Now I'm gonna scale it up a bit and maybe take it a bit forward. And now you can see that you have a stone sitting on that whiteboard. So this is pretty awesome because you can actually take a planar tracking and convert it to a 3D movement and then later use it to move 3D graphics or 3D objects right inside After Effects with no need to go to a special trackers or download some plugins that do exactly the same. And you can take it as much further as you'd like in the beginning, you saw the shadow. So if you want to see how to do this shadow, which is actually a shadow mat, uh, you can download the footage. It will be in the links. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the links, you will find part one of this tutorial, which is demonstrated by Eran Stellen, where to download the footage for this project. Another link to how to get one click parallax and of course a link to the rest of my tools hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'm gonna see you next time